Hello everyone and welcome back to more of How to Date a Magical Girl. In the last episode, the Academy was attacked by the Cult of Nine. Luckily, we fended them off. Lost a few casualties along the way, sadly. And we tried to save our teacher from being attacked. And we took the blast. Or the slash, I it was a sword, it was a slash. So we awakened to a stabbing, searing pain all throughout my stomach. It subsides in about 30 seconds. And I clutched the area, noticing that my lower torso was wrapped in bandages. My stomach is tender to the touch, almost as if it's recently been sliced open. But the bandages are dry, and there's no visible blood. What the hell happened? I stumble into the kitchen and see Hoshi digging into a bowl of food. Hey, bud, feeling better? Uh. Still at a loss, sorry. Yet? Well, ask Master. I'm busy eating. I look around the kitchen and notice Akari is asleep in a chair, her head resting on the table. I take a seat next to her and nudge her gently. Akari? She lifts her head groggily and blinks twice in disbelief when she sees me. Alan, oh Alan, you're awake! Oh, that's a cute outfit. How you feeling? A bit stiff? A bit sore? I don't blame you, you were hurt pretty bad. What happened? My head is so foggy. You don't remember? You, you jumped in front of Miss Atsuka and the leader of the Cult of Nine stabbed you. Huh? I did that? You saved Satomi's life. Wow. But, but you've been unconscious for a really long time. How long? About two weeks. It's the end of September. What the hell? Two weeks? Oh man, but I'm still so tired. I'm just glad you're alive. I was so worried about you. We all were. I've been staying here looking after Hoshi and waiting for you to wake up. I hope that's okay. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Akari. You're such a sweet girl. I'm so happy to see you again. How is everyone else? The school is attacked. Our friends are okay. There were a few deaths from the attack, though. I didn't recognize any of their names. The school's been closed the whole time. It's not like you missed out on anything. Will they reopen the school? Supposedly, on Monday. What if the cult attacks again? It's best you don't worry about that for now. You keep on resting. Yeah, I guess so. I'll stay here again tonight. Is that okay? Yeah, thanks, but I'm going to go lie down for a bit. Okay, let me know if you need anything. Wow. Oh, boy. I'm not as sore as when I wake up this morning. When I shower, I take off my bandages and examine the stab wound. Surprisingly, I've healed over pretty well. There's a nasty scar but the wound is in no ta danger of reopening. I wonder if Akari had a hand in healing me. I made some lunch. Do you want to come and eat? Yeah, I'm starving. What are we having? It's my specialty. Pancakes a la Hikari. Hikari served out two gigantic plates of pancakes. Oh man, pancakes sound really good. Did you use the pre-made mix from the store? No. Yes, but I added my secret ingredient. Sugar, right? Bleh. I sit down and dig into the pancakes. They're really, really good. This is delicious, Akari. Thank you. <laughs> Don't mention it. When we finish eating, Akari lets out a big yawn. Well, I might head home. But I've been here for weeks. Thanks again for everything. For looking after me. Of course, Alan. Oh, I called Miu early and she's confirmed the school is back in session tomorrow. Will you come to class? I suppose so. I mean, I want to talk to Satomi, if nothing else. I need some closure on the whole thing. I understand. Well, let's walk there together in the morning. I'll come get you. Okay, sounds great. Oh, and don't forget, we need to wear winter uniforms from tomorrow on. It's getting cold. See you tomorrow. The winter uniforms. Ooh, I wonder what they're going to look like. <sighs> Another day. What's on the docket for today? Ooh, Yui's getting close to the date. Unfortunately, he's not available today, which sucks, but that's okay. School is rather quiet today. Seems like a lot of students haven't returned, and I honestly don't blame them. I wouldn't want to come back, but I have to because I'm the protagonist. We need to finish the story. Some of them would have lost friends and loved ones during the attack. I mean, it's only natural that they'd quit. That about wraps up today's lesson. I'll see you all tomorrow. Stay safe out there. Oh, Alan, can you hang back for a moment? I nod. I figured Satomi would want to chat. I wait for the rest of the class to empty out before getting up from my seat. Alan, how do you feel? I'm okay. I'm taking my bandages off. 
I'm really glad to hear that. Hikari did a wonderful job healing you. Ah, so Hikari did play a part in my recovery. The attack on the school was devastating, and I'm sorry that you had to experience such a harrowing ordeal. In addition, you saved my life. You jumped in front of a sword intended to cut me down. I... Why did you do such a thing? Huh? Why? Well, to be honest, I haven't really given any thought. Should I tell her that? Well, my body moved before I could even think about it. I saw you in danger and I just reacted. You sacrificed yourself for me. It was noble, heroic. I owe you everything. How can I ever repay you? I find myself getting all hot behind the ears. This kind of sincere thanks is embarrassing. No, there's no need to repay me. I just did what I had to do. Thank you. Truly, thank you. I'm glad you woke after being unconscious for so long. You must truly have a strong will, stronger than I ever imagined. And the fact that you came back to school is just astounding. Well, many of our students will never return, as I'm sure you've guessed. To see you here again, well, it's inspirational. I offer to tell me a small smile. Anyway, if there's anything you need from me this year, please let me know. I'm at your disposal. It's the least I can do. Thank you, Miss Atsuka. That's okay. Now, I'm sure you have a lot of things you need to catch up on. You should run along for now. You're right, I got dates to go on. Not today, though. Um, we could go to the forest and buy some stuff. Let's do that. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta return the book. Let's return the book first. I will borrow another book. Didn't I already borrow this book? Pretty sure I did. I'm maybe I'm not finished. I probably haven't finished it. I keep returning the book I haven't finished, so I have to keep doing it all over again. Let's go to the forest. Well, hang. Let's go to the lab. What do we need for the alchemy thing again? The love potion. Oh boy, we need. A well, we don't have any money. Man, we are broke. We need two holy waters and one of the butterfly wings. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Shop here. Two holy waters and one wing. Oh, well, that broke. Let's go somewhere else. Go back to the lab. Make our love potion. It's too bad we can't make the good one, but that's alright. Alright. That's all we have time for today. Let's read our book. Two chapters left, okay. Oh, it's almost my brother's birthday. Let's go straight to school. When I go up to the roof for lunch today, Ray is the only one there. Hey, seems like school is back in full swing. I say it's like nothing ever happened, but I guess a lot of students never came back after the break. How are you feeling, Ray? Me? Well, I'm okay. I'm a little shaken up about my aunt and the attack on the academy, but all things considered, I'm doing okay. I feel better knowing I was able to kick some ass in that fight. You smashed the crap out of that mass demon. Hell yeah, I did. I got, I've got you to think, actually. You kept training with me and helped me get stronger. Thanks, Alan. <laughs> You're welcome, Rhea. Ah, here you are. Mimi. Oh, everyone's here. Hello. Good day. Jeez, did you two start eating without us? How annoying. Haha, <laughs> nah, we haven't dug into our lunch yet. Let's all eat together. We all share our meals, and it's kind of nice to do something normal for once. Alan, how are you doing now? Was your wound still sore? Nah, I'm okay. So somebody said that Akari helped patch me up, so thanks, Akari. Oh, oh they're wearing their little winter uniforms. Oh, that's, they're really cute. Don't mention it. I'm just really glad I was actually able to help. Everyone really held their own during the attack. I'm proud of all of you. Well, duh, as if we just let the school get destroyed. We did what we had to do. All of us. Even you, Alan. I admit I was worried that without being able to transform, you would just weigh us down. But you saved Satomi. You did well. Thank you. Say, after I passed out, what happened? Did anyone fight the cult leader? Oh yeah, we never told you. The cult leader escaped, unfortunately. She realized she was completely outnumbered. And the woman we battled in our classroom had disappeared by the time we went back inside. I see. So all the enemies got away. The human ones, anyway. We kicked the asses of a few demons. Hmm. So what happens next? 
I mean, we can't just leave ourselves open to another attack. No, we can't. We need to hunt the cult down and put an end to them. Yeah, right. How do you expect me to grow finding out where they actually are? I don't know. Hm. I wouldn't even know where to start looking. Let me ask around a bit. Be careful, Mimi. You know what happened to Aya when she started asking around? Yes, I know. Unlike her, I don't have any connections to the cult. But I'll still be careful. Thanks, Ray. Well, time to go back. We need to get to class. Okay, well... Is she available? Oh, she's available in her room. Let's go. Oh wait, hang on. Let's go get some. Uh, let's go get some food real quick to give her. Give her a drink. Shop here. She loves coffee. Oh wait, we can't. Oh wait, can, can we do outside the school gate? We can. Okay. Room. Hey, oh my god, that is the cutest thing ever. Oh, wait, we we're gonna give her the Hosanabi. Let's give her the coffee. Two! Nice. Okay, we're close. We're close. We're so close. Let's read the book. We're gonna finish this book this time. One chapter left. All right, let's go straight to school. One of our very own students gave me some tips recently on how to enhance well-known potion recipes. I have to say, I'm very impressed with this young woman's ingenuity. Oh yeah, remember we helped Yui during the break. So today, I'll be happy to teach you how to create an advanced potion, the Finder Potion Plus. Here's what you need to do. And that's all there is to it. The effects of Finder Potion Plus last for much longer than the normal version of the potion. You'll be able to gather extra ingredients from the forest for up to three days instead of just one. And remember, always use potions responsibly. Nice, that'd be useful. How do we make it? You was at the library today. Okay, we should probably... Okay, let's drink the potion. We can actually go on a date with her today. Okay, here we go. We're going to go to the library. We're not returning the book. We're gonna give you a gift. We're gonna give her this. Here you go. Three, nice. We're gonna spend time with her. We're not quite there yet, but we still can ask her out on a date. Later. Okay, she's at 81 now. Okay, good. Oh, look, oh it shows we got a little up plus thingy. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so uh, I wanna read the book though. No, let's go on the date, let's go on the date. Or she at the forest? She's at the forest, right? Of course she's at the forest. Where else would she be? If I go on a date with Yui, our relationship will progress to the next stage. Hell yeah. Alan, can, can you come with me? I um, I need to talk to you. What's wrong? You're acting shy again. It's important. Well, I can't say no to Yui. Where are we headed? Deep in the woods. I follow Yui, all the while wondering what could possibly have her acting so shy again. She won't even talk to me along the way. Finally, we arrive deep in the forest. She turns to me. What is it, Yui? I mean, you know you can talk to me about anything, right? I'm always open. It's just, I... You what? <laughs> I can't hide it anymore. Little by little, you open Pandora's box. I can't hide it like I used to. I'm a little taken aback. Yui's never talked like this before. She seems a little manic. What's going on? Why can't you, what can't you hide anymore? My hatred! My hatred for the whole world! Every last scummy human on this wretched planet! What? What is she talking about? Yui, this isn't like you at all! This is exactly like me! This is the me I've been hiding for so long! But don't worry! You, Alan, you're the only one I don't hate. You are pure. I don't understand. Why do you hate the world so much? <laughs> I'll tell you why. Love. Love is the reason I hate. I spent my entire life being teased and tortured by my peers. In high school, students would call me fat and ugly and useless. I was so lonely, so depressed. But I didn't hate anyone. Not yet. 
the bullying continued, day in, day out. I reached the end of my rope. I was pushed too far, so I did the only thing I could think to do. I found a quiet spot at school and prepared myself to drink the poison I had brewed at home. I was willing to end it all. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Shy, quiet, why will you eat? Then he came along. He smiled at me, talked to me, and told me I should never die alone. I was a fool to listen to his sweet words. They were just another type of poison. We started dating after that. He was very popular at our school, and by default, I sort of became popular too. No one made fun of me. In fact, they started acting like my friends, the liars. It was like this for a few months, until exams started creeping up. I could tell he was being pressured to stay top of his class. I couldn't see the darkness starting inside of him. One night, while I was sleeping, he crept into my room through the window. I woke up to him standing over me with a scary look in his eyes and a bottle in his hand. He told me it was finally time. Finally time to finish it and die, like Romeo and Juliet forever bound together in death. Dear God, he came to kill you? He wanted to commit suicide together, but at this point I no longer wanted to die. When I told him this, he just laughed and pulled me from my bed to the ground. I tried to scream, but he held his hand to my mouth. He popped the top off the bottle and I could smell it was poison, just like I had once brewed. He drank half the bottle while he pinned me to the ground. He forced me to drink the other half and waited with his hand over my mouth until I swallowed it all. Then he started to foam at the mouth and could not hold me down any longer. He collapsed, and all I could do was make one last frail scream before I blacked out. I can't believe you. He went through such a harrowing ordeal. I woke up in the hospital several days later. The only reason I survived is because my parents found me and gave me a general antidote. And your boyfriend? Dead before my parents arrived. He must have consumed a little more poison than I did. Yui, what, what happened to you is horrible. I can't even comprehend it. But one stupid decision by one stupid boy couldn't have made you hate the entire world. You're right. Had that incident been the end of it, I probably would have recovered. There's more? It used to be just the mean kids at school hated me. But now the whole town, save for my parents, thought I convinced him to participate in a double suicide. He was so loved in our town that no one would believe that he wanted to die. No one would hear my side of the story. And so, everyone began to hate me. They tortured me and my parents, tried to burn down our shop, hit me when I went out in public. It became far too much to bear. But I knew that if I took the coward's way out and ended it all, I'd just come to face to face with him in hell. And I couldn't bear the thought of ever seeing him again. This boy that ruined my entire life. So, you decided to move to the city to get away from it all. Yes. But things are still a mess. The people from the town still harass me. They send me hateful letters and dead animals in the mail. What the hell? Huey, I'm so sorry. Don't pity me. Never pity me. I will rise above it all. And when I grow strong enough, they will all pay for this. I will become a goddess and rid the world of its hatred. I feel a cold chill all around me, so... These are Yui's true feelings. She's still the sweet girl I know, but she has so much anger in her as well. I feel something pulling me close to her. Something strong. I wrap my arms around her and hold her close to me. I can feel her flinch, but then she buries her head in my chest and weeps quietly. She is still so frail. My god. So that's why her outfit is the way that it is. Okay, let's keep going. We've still got more dates to go on. Yeah, question mark. It's not 100, so it's probably maybe 90. She's not available today, so we can... We should probably look to see how to breathe a finder's potion. Classes go by slowly today. Satomi takes over our practical magic class in place of Miss Yoshida. Rest in peace. The academy is still very quiet due to the small number of students in attendance. We've got to be able to transform at some point. How do we make that potion? Let's find out. Because that would be really good for ingredients. 
Uh, brew potion. How do we get that one? Well, let's get that one. We have none of these. Three rock or two rocks, three plants, three bottles, and three feathers or something. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, all right. Now, let's go to the forest and see how much that stuff's gonna cost us. Um. Oh God damn it. These are expensive. So we need two of these, three of these, three of these, and three of these. Oh boy. Let's just explore. Explore! Where do we go? Does it really matter? Is it random? Damn it. Oh man, none of these are good. Oh yeah, we can finish the book. Let's finish it up. Ah, uh, I thought we got it. Thought we'd raise it up by now. This game's a lot of fun. Okay, let's see. Is you available? She is in the library. Oh, good. We can return our book. Surprisingly, today goes by rather quickly. The weekend is right around the corner. Mm, okay. Let's go to the library. Turn the book. Hang on, Yui. We'll spend time with you. Give me a second. We're down to our last book. Okay, let's give Yui a gift. Wait, why can't we give... Oh, we gave her the gift. That's right. Yui and I need something big and important to move our relationship forward. Maybe I should wait for something to happen before asking her out again. What the hell? Regardless, I should keep giving her gifts to increase her affection to 100% in the meantime. Oh, what? That's lame. Hang on, let's go to the... Oh, we're still gonna go to the Cafe Shiba. How much money do we got? No, not... Gosh, dang it. No, I did it again. Uh, well, we're broke as hell. Let's give her a melon soda. Let's buy a couple of these here. We need money, though. We need to make some scratch. Okay, so we need some kind of event. There you go. So I can't even talk to her. I gotta keep giving her presents. So money is more important than ever now. So we've gotta make some. We gotta make some money. Work here. Twenty hundred. Okay. Let's go to the forest. Maybe find some ingredients. So we need a. What? I don't want to talk to you, lady. I'm sorry. I feel, feel mean, but... Nope. Oh, man. None of the stuff is what we need. I think we can sell that stuff to her. It still sucks. I don't need any of that. Oh, it's the weekend, right? Okay. Um, let's work. We need money. That's the wrong place. Oh, it's Hikari. Sorry, Hikari. Do some shopping. Let's give her some lollipops. I'll back that. Uh, actually, hang on. Where is, uh... Is Yui in a room? Not there. Let's go back to our room real quick. Oh, I can't do that. Never mind. Uh... Let's just go to the forest. Okay, we can sell stuff to it. Okay, here we go. We don't need this stuff. It sells for quite a lot. You know, we got a bunch of these. Let's sell this stuff. How am I working? I could just sell all the alchemy ingredients I get. Buy some stuff here. So we need three of these. Two of these. Three of these. And three of these, right? Yes, I think so. Boy, we have just enough. Okay. 
we're still gonna go. I guess we might as well explore. Oh wait, no, hang on. Let's not explore because we can uh, raise our stats. Let's go to the debate club. Raise our stats up. Ah. Uh, dang it. Let's read the book. Might as well. Okay. Let's go see if we can find a car. Eh? Is it still raining? Yep, still raining. Is the car available? Or you? Yeah, car you. I mean. Uh, okay. Let's go. We can make a potion. Study alchemy. Brew potion. Okay. What do we need to make these? Um, love potion plus. Defection when dating. Is that the same thing? Yeah, I guess it's the same thing. Oh, this lasts for three days. I didn't realize that. Oh, man, that's much better. Let's just do the finder's potion. Okay. Oh, that's all we can do? Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay. Um, let's read the book. Okay. So we gotta make use of the potion. There you are. Come with me. Huh? Follow me. I need to talk to you. Class is about to start. Can we meet up later? This way. Hurry up. Get the film. Me who isn't in the best mood. I better go along. What's the big deal? It's not like you, not like you to skip out on class. Quiet. The cult of night broke into my house on Saturday. What? They shattered the windows that surrounded me. Thankfully, none of my family were home at the time. Are you okay? Yes, I'm unharmed. There was no battle, but it was a shocking event to say the least. There were three of them. Among them was the cult leader who stabbed you. Why? Why did they break in? They were looking for someone. Who? Me. My mind is racing. Mew seems surprisingly calm despite what she's telling me, but they broke into our house looking for her and there was no battle. What exactly went down? Can you explain? Mew heaves a sign. Okay. They cornered me and shackled my wrist before I could transform and fight them off, but the leader kept reiterating that she only wanted to talk. She... She made me an offer. What do you mean? They invited me to join the Cult of Nine. What? The Cult of Nine invited me to join? What the hell is going on? They obviously looked into our academy records and found that I'm the most accomplished student. They said they could use talent like mine and that with my time with them would be worthwhile. They could elevate my powers to heights I could never dream of. In addition, if I join them, they'll tell me the greatest truth. The greatest truth. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know, but it's intriguing. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, sure, but it's not like you're going to join the Cold Nine, so it shouldn't matter. You, you told them to get lost, right? You. Mew, you did tell them you weren't interested, didn't you? I haven't decided what I'll do just yet. You can't be serious. You're actually considered joining the Cold of Nine? I, I need more time to think about it. Anyway, we should get to class. We've wasted enough time. Mia walks away before I can stop her. Mia, what the hell? She can't join the Cold of Nine. She just can't. She hates them as much as everyone else does. What is that girl thinking? I try to meet up, meet up with Mia again after school, but she manages to ghost me. I'm not in the mood to do anything else today, so I just head straight home. Wait, no! We need to go to the forest. What the hell? I mean, I can understand her maybe saying that she'll think about it to get them away. I mean, that would make sense. I don't want to go to school because I'm afraid I'm... <laughs> okay, what's today? Halloween! That's not Halloween. Okay. We won't earn a push until the 24. How much time do we have left? I don't even know. Good morning, Alan. Yo, what's up? Mew, do you have a sec? Can we talk? Ray and I are just on our way to class. Can it wait? Uh, no, no, it can't wait. I'm sorry. It's about what you told me. I'm sure it's not important. Come on, Ray. Later. What? She's purposely trying to avoid me. Why would she drop a bombshell like that on me and then avoid me? I need to make her swear she won't join the cold. Alright, let's drink the potion. Finder's potion plus, yes. Well, you get two of them, that's right. Yep, so we're gonna definitely go to the forest. A lot. What's up? How much do we get? I'm actually curious. Four cursed waters. More four cursed waters. Can we do the forest twice in one day? 
If we can, that'll be amazing. We can. Nice. Let's go north. Hardberry. Nice. Purple mushroom. Nice. Wow. None of the ingredients to make more of those potions. I've had enough of you avoiding me. I sneak around the academy before class begins to try and catch her and make her talk. Luckily, it doesn't take me long at all to find her. I manage to sneak up when she's busy at her locker. Mew! Ah, Alan, good morning. How are you? Cut the crap. I need you to tell me you're not going to join the Cold of Nine. I need you to promise to swear it. I told you I haven't decided yet. Bullshit! There's nothing to decide. The Cold murdered our fellow students. They killed Miss Yoshida. The Miyu I know would swear to stop them, to put an end to their evil deeds. The Miyu I know wouldn't even entertain the idea of joining. So if you're not that Miyu, then just who the hell are you? Alan, it's more complicated than you know. No, it's not. The decision is simple. Why can't you see that? Alan, just stop. If I don't join, the Cold of Nine will hurt someone very dear to me. Therefore, my decision is not an easy one. The promise of power and avoiding the greatest truth are secondary motivations. My main decision revolves around protecting someone I care about. If I join the cult, they will be safe. If I don't join... Well, this is new information to me. I wish she told me about this the other day. Mew, who is this person? Is she a family member? It's... It's you. Me? If I refuse to join the Cult of Nine, they will attack the school again, and they will slaughter you. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Why me? Am I more valuable to Miu than Rhea? Than any of her other friends? So, you see, I can't make my decision lightly. Miu. Before the attack on school, Rhea and I vowed to avenge Miss Yoshida. We promised to take the Cult down. If we stick to that plan, then you don't need to join the Cult. We can take care of the Cult of Nine once and for all. That's an impossible task for you and Rhea to pull off. Yeah, it is. That's why we need you. We need you and Hikari and Yui and Kaori. Because we're a team, right? That's what you said so long ago. We're a team and we're going to protect the Academy and each other. Miu, the cult will be expecting you to join them. But they won't be expecting all of us. If you say you'll join the cult, it could be just the ruse we need to get access to their hideout. And then we can destroy them from within. Do, do you think that'll work? Yes, absolutely. The only thing stopping us from going them after right now is that we don't know where they are. But they would have given you information, right? They'd have left you instructions on how to contact them. Yes, they gave me a location to meet up on a specific day, but I looked at the place up and it's simply a parking lot. It's not a hideout. Then you, you'll go there. They'll lead you to their base. The rest of us will follow from afar. It's too dangerous. It's the only way. This is all just speculation. What if the other girls don't want to be involved? We'd be outnumbered. I've already got Rhea's word, and I guarantee you the others will want to see the cult destroyed. We've all been affected by their wrongdoing. Very well. If you can convince the other girls, then we can carry out this plan. Okay, good. Thank you, Miu. But we need to discuss everything in detail. We need a safe place to meet. Well, that's easy. I'll gather one of my place tonight. Okay, then let's see what happens. The rest of the day passes uneventfully, and I'm really pissed because I just drank that potion. I managed to get Hakari, Yui, Kiori, and Rei to all promise to meet me in my apartment. Miu and Rei are the first to arrive, followed shortly thereafter by the others. So, are you going to tell me why the hell you invited us here to your creepy apartment? Creepy? You better have a damn good reason. Can you I show you? We're here for a good reason. Well, then what is it? Spit it out. Yeah, I want to know. Okay, okay, calm down. Here's the deal. Miu and I explained everything. We all discussed how Miu was invited to join the Cult of Nine and how he planned to use that as a way to infiltrate the Cult. We talked about meeting up with the Cult and following them back to their hideout. We brainstormed tactics on how we can destroy them once we get there. All in all, I think the discussion went pretty well. Well, you know, I'm on board. I wouldn't miss it for anything. I'm going to make them pay for what they did to Aya. Count me in too. I haven't forgiven them for any of the murders. And having all the blame pinned on me wasn't a pleasant experience. I'll do my best to help you bring the Cult down. Me too. That last battle at our school was brutal. Now you got injured pretty badly. If I can come along and heal anyone that gets hurt, then I'll feel useful. Hm, this is a suicide mission, I hope you know. Only an idiot would go along with this stupid plan. So you're going to be in deep shit if I don't back you up. I'll be there, if only to stop all of you from getting into more trouble than you can handle. Thank you. 
All of you. Alan, you already know I'm on board. You, you kind of have to be. The Cult of Nine wants to meet with me on October 28th. That's when they'll be expecting me to give them my decision. October 28th? That's during the school festival, isn't it? Yes, it's on the second day of the festival. I dare say the school will be so busy that we can leave without attracting any attention. I'll meet the Cult of the designated location. When they lead me to their base of operations, you'll all need to fall closely behind. And once we're at their base, we hit them hard! Okay, I think I've got it. Let's do our best, everyone. Just leave the fighting to me, okay? I couldn't live without myself. If any of you idiots got yourselves hurt... Don't worry, I'll be there to patch you up. The plan has been set into motion. Mia will meet with the cult on October 28th, the second day of the school festival. Until then, we must bide our time. Jump cut to 28th. Ah. Okay, good. We can go, finally go to the forest. No, we can't. We gotta go to school first. The day passes uneventfully, as it should. Okay, let's go to the school. We're going to the forest. Explore the forest. Okay, let's go west this time. More of this crap, really? Oh, come on. I'm not finding any of this stuff. Uh-huh. Forest. Not shop. Wait, how much are those cursed waters? Wow. Okay. It's a lot. Let's go, uh, let's go east this time. Ooh, Witch's Bane. That's what we need. Nice. That's part of what we need. We didn't get much of anything else, sadly. But that's okay. Um, let's go straight to school. The last day of school week drags by slowly. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Yui's at the library. Can we return that book or did we actually... Did we read it all? I don't know if we did or not. I think we did. Well, let's go there anyway. Library services. Return a book. Borrow a book. Oh, we didn't actually read it. Oh, dang it. There you go. Have a lollipop. Man, that's a tick. Can I keep giving her gifts? Ah. No. Can't see her. Dang it. That sucks. Um, can we do anything at the lab? Can we brew anything? Fortune potion. Not really. Sucker potion. Well. Love potion. We can almost do. What do we need? Three waters. Three heart berries. Three wings and two poops. Okay. We can do that. Easy. Well. Sell an item. Which we don't really need these. I mean, it's like forever to sell all these. I don't really need these, but we'll save them. We'll keep some of these around, I guess. These sell for a lot. Okay, what? So we need a bunch of these. We need a bunch of these. And like some more of these, right? Ah, we're broke, okay. Might as well explore the forest. Water. We need that for something. Okay. Let's read the book. Okay. We're getting close. We're getting so close to the big day. We can make a potion. Love Potion Plus. Nice. Read the book. Read. One more day for the uh, book. We need to make some money to buy some gifts, though. Uh, let's go. Let's make some money. I forgot the arcade was there. I don't think we've ever been in the arcade. 2800 
bucks. All right, let's finish the book up. Okay, all the books are done. We finished all the books. Oh, we got an A. Pretty perceptive. Achievement unlocked. Nice. I wonder how much we make now. That must be the highest we can get as an A. As I'm sure you're all aware by now, the school festival will be held in two weeks. We hold the festival every year and it carries on for two days. Because of that, we'll be holding it over a weekend to make sure, to make sure classes aren't interrupted. This year's theme is Halloween. We'll have lots of spooky decorations set up and costumes are encouraged. There's still a lot of playing to do, so it'll require a few more volunteers to dedicate their time after school. Now, let's see. Who would like to volunteer? Oh, shit. Well, I might just have to pick a few students at random. Hikari, you and Alan. You three can be on the festival committee. Damn it. I'll need you all to stay back after school this week. We'll need to be extra thorough with our planning to make sure the festival is a success. I'm surprised you're still having the festival with like, all the school gone. Well, there goes my free time. This is pretty inconvenient, don't you think? We're supposed to be gearing up for the attack on the cult. Shh, don't say that too loudly. We need to keep a low profile. He was right. We need to go on with this. Me, Rank, you or I can make preparations for our infiltration. Okay, let's do this. Car, you and I stay back after school to help with the festival preparations. We end up finishing pretty late. By the time I get home, I'm pretty wiped out. I can't believe I have a whole weekend of this planning ahead of me. Damn it. Oh, goody, it's skipped. Phew, Yui, can you help me tie this banner? Okay. Here, just hold it up there while I attach this. The girls are working hard to ensure everything gets set up properly. I have to admit, we've done a pretty good job getting everything ready. And we're a week ahead of schedule. The festival doesn't start until next weekend. There, that should stay up, hopefully. I think we're all done, yay! Good work, everyone. So now that everything's set up, what do we do? We should go tell Satomi everything's ready. right -o. what if she comes up with more tasks to give us? Good point. The day's almost over anyway. Why don't we go home and rest? I'm all in for that. We'll tell Satomi on Monday that preparations are complete. Okie dokie, let's go. Saturday, nice. Oh, we can see, uh... Can go see. Oh, is she available? Oh, she's available one day. But that's probably okay. We need to get our thing up. Yes. Sucks I can't spend time with her though. I can only give her gifts. Which sucks. Here you go. Here, take a melon soda. What? Okay. Ah, why can't I freaking talk to you? This is so annoying. Oh well. Should we go to the apartment store? We oh, let's see, work at the convenience store. See what we can. Uh, hey, can see how much money we make now. Work here. Oh no, what? Yes. Twenty hundred. What? That was the same we've been getting. Oh, that's lame. Or wait, is that what we needed? I don't even remember. I don't even remember. It doesn't matter. Okay. I thought... Oh, wait, no, that was... Wait, what's... Percent? No, this is what we needed to raise up, doesn't it? Doesn't matter. Okay. Let's just meditate. Nice. A for perception. We already had perception. We got this, the other one, integrity. That's the one we got to raise up to get the more money. Dang it. That's okay. That's okay. <sighs> Yui's available at the department store at night. Okay, that's good. Um, just go to the forest, I guess. Nope, wrong one. Got some cash on me. I could just buy the ingredients I need. Maybe that's the easy way to do it. What do I need? I've already forgotten. Three of these. Three of these. And what was the other one? Was, oh, it was two of these. That's right. Oh, I'm broke now. Okay. Let's just explore while we're here. Might as well. Nope. Nope. Darn it. Okay. Okay, we gotta go to the department store. Give you a gift. Here you go. You can have the lollipop. Yeah, I know. Three. That's good. That's good. Else, where can we get the arcade? Talk to Jamie. All right, mate. Hope you're enjoying the arcade. It's pretty quiet right now, so make the most of it. 
Don't get any funny ideas about asking me for tips. I'm not going to share my insider in with you. I've been working here for a couple of years now. But it's one note that never helped players cheat. Okay. Ah, oh, what? Oh, we get a goo. Yeah. Nice, we won. Oh, hell yeah. Now I don't have to buy one. Sweet. I got UFO champion uh, uh, achievement. Okay, let's go somewhere. Oh, that doesn't take up any time either. That's pretty sweet. Oh, let's go to the field. Oh, school's closed. That's right. Um, God, where do we go then? Nothing to do. Good work, I guess, for some money. Oh, did it again. I swear I keep doing that. 2800 bucks. Nice. Thanks for the efforts of our volunteers, I'm happy now that the school festival was ready to begin this weekend. Remember to get here early Saturday morning. There will be games and activities for everyone to get involved in and a costume judging contest in the afternoon. The festival will continue through to Sunday and we have a giant feast in the gymnasium. The card nudges me in the ribs. Sunday's the day meal will meet with the cold. We'll have to sneak out during the feast. Okay, it shouldn't be a problem. Now for today's lesson. Yo! Well, 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 if it isn't the festival planning committee, I hope you're happy with yourselves. You've been off planning some, something trivial while me and Ray and I got stuck working on our battle plan. Don't be rude. They didn't have a choice. Besides, we still have all this week to prep for our battle. <laughs> Sorry, Kiori. We really didn't want to plan the festival, but we thought it would be odd if we outright rejected it. Fine, fine. I don't know about you guys, but I haven't been able to sleep. I'm so worked up thinking about finding the cult. I'm pretty nervous, but I know I'll be okay. We've all had some battle experience now. We have some idea of what to expect. It's true, all the girls have participated in a battle or two this year. I'm the only one that really can't do anything. I'd like to go over this plan with you if that's okay. We spend some time going through our preparations. Welcome home. I'm hungry. Okay, I'll make dinner. Yes. Hmm. You look worried. Is something up, bud? I'm anxious, that's all. We'll be fighting some powerful enemies soon. I never pegged you as a fighter, bud. No offense, but you just don't have the luck. No, oh, that's so. Can you even use any magic? Well, never mind that. I guess it all comes down to what you can do in the moment. If you think you can't handle it, there ain't no shame in running away. I don't want you getting in over your head anyway. I need someone to feed me. <laughs> Got it. Dang, Hoshi. No, my potion! It's getting wasted. I think I still have one more day. Nope. Never. Oh, it's raining today, too. Go straight to school. Today passes surprisingly fast. Who would have thunk it? Can we go to the debate club? We can. We might as well study expertise. Get sir. Give me an A. Gosh darn it, really? Ugh, I can't even read a book. Wait, wait, is uh you available? Nope. Oh, uh, she's available in her room. Oh well. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Let's go work. Let's shop. Let's get some, uh, let's get some wine. There's some other stuff we haven't given her yet. I need to make money. Okay. The hour is almost upon us. I've got another advanced potion for you all today. This is the insanely potent Fortune Potion Plus. Normally you drink a Fortune Potion before starting work in order to earn a little extra dough, but down a Fortune Potion Plus instead and reap the benefits for three whole days. That's three days of earning extra cash. Here's how you make it. Ooh. Not that I really care about that. I'm making more than enough money. I don't really need money now just to buy gifts, but the gifts really aren't that expensive. Oh, we can get two gifts today. Nice, okay. Wait, we got a potion, don't we? Yes, let's use the love potion. We get double gifts. Okay, we go to the library. Did we return our book? I don't think we did yet. Here you go, return book. Well, I can't borrow any books. There's no more books left. There's some wine, here you go. I remember getting some ones before. Three, okay. It seems like the gifts don't really matter that much. Um, let's go to the forest, I guess. Explore. 
Heartberry, nice. Oh, we got the goo. She's at the she's at the forest, right? She's usually okay. Oh, we can't give her double gifts today. I forgot. Damn it, that sucks. Um, there's really nothing else to do here. Hmm, I guess we could go to the beach. Perform a magic trick, Hoshi. Influence Kaori's opinion of me. Affection increased by two. Oh, nice. Too bad it wasn't Yumi, the one I actually care about. But that's okay. Alrighty. Let's go. What's on this docket for today? Oh, she's not available today? Oh my gosh. There's only a few more days left. You're right, there is. We might as well just go to the beach and just keep, just, just keep doing this. No, oh, there we go. Magical void. Ingredient. There's really nothing to do right now. All these games usually have that once once you get like Oh. Oh nice! My expertise went up to an A. Sweet. Thank you, Hoshi. God. I love you, Yoshi. Hoshi. Never tell you that. Best thing never happened to me. Okay, go straight to school. This is gonna be a long episode, but you know what? I don't really care. First day of the school festival is tomorrow. Our date with the Cold Nine is the day after. Okay. Okay, is you available? She's at the library. Good. Wait, we don't have any more love potion. Oh yeah, we do. We got one more day of the love potion. All right, here you go. You can have. I don't think I've given you this yet. What is her affection at? I'll have to check later. Now we can work and see how much money we're going to make. Let's try that. Thirty-five hundred. That ain't bad. We got to be swimming in cash by now. Uh, she's not available anymore. She no. That's okay. Let's go for a magic trick. Damn it, I already got that in A. I mean, it is random. You can get some good stuff from it, though. First day at the festival, we're running to someone unexpected. Yo, what's up? Hey, Shin, what are you doing here? You guys having a festival, right? It's open to the public. It is? I had no idea. Haha, <laughs> classic. I thought it'd be sweet to check it out. Never been to your school before. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, come on in. Lead the way. Whoa, this place is awesome. There's so many cute girls around. I'm in heaven. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So, you guys had a lot of trouble lately, right? There's been, like, murders and stuff? Yeah, I try not to think about it. Right, right, sorry. Oh, Alan, you're here. Oh, and Shin, hey. Hey, Kari. Kari, you never told me the festival was open to the public. Huh? How could you not know that? It's a festival. I thought for sure you'd invite other people to come. Oh, what about Noriko? You should get her to come along. We haven't talked lately. Makari's suggestion is a painful reminder that Noriko left the country and doesn't want to speak to me anymore. Man, I still don't really understand what that all is all about, but... What if Noriko is actually behind all of the murders? Wouldn't that be wild? Uh, should we go find the others? Yeah, okay. Sure, hey, will that Yui girl be there? Oh, and Miu too? Hey, Yui's mine. Yui, hands off. Hands off. Yeah, they're all here. Let's go. Oh my god, they're all dressed up and adorable in their little outfits. I really like Rhea's outfit. It is so cute. The battle bunny. Ah, hello. Why are you all in your magical outfits? It was Rhea's idea. Since we didn't have time to organize costumes for the contest, she thought this would be best. But it's so embarrassing. We're the only ones dressed like this. Everyone else has proper Halloween costumes. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but it was the best idea I could come up with at short, short notice. Whoa, you guys look amazing! Aha, thanks! Ugh, perv. Hello. Oh, hey, Yui. Didn't see you hiding there. Yeep. There's so many people around. Does this mean I should transform too? I don't have a Halloween costume. Well, if you want to enter the contest, you should. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, you can't just do it right there. Does anyone want to grab a bite to eat? There's a snack food stall over there. Ooh, me, me. Let's get some meats. 
Ta-da! Where'd they all go? Oh, how embarrassing. After we all grab a bite to eat, we look around the festival a bit more. There are lots of students in creepy Halloween costumes wandering around the school and scaring people when they least expect it. There's lots of food and a few games, and some students have even set up a spooky trivia session. After some time, we hear an announcement saying that the costume contest is about to begin. We head back to the gymnasium. Welcome students and welcome newcomers. We're ready to announce the winners of the Halloween costume contest. The only prize is the honor of being crowned as the Academy's best dressed student. Without further delay, let's begin. In third place, we have Miss Shizuka. A timid looking student with a leg and a cast slowly climbs up to the stage while the audience cheers and applause. She's like, this isn't a costume. Miss Shizuka used her broken leg as an inspiration for this year's costume and she covered herself in bandages to become a spooky mummy. Ooh. Well done, Miss Shizuka. You've earned the third place award. Now, our second place the winner is none other than Miss Kaori Bonnet. She's not even, like, it's not even Halloween. Kaori looks taken aback. Her face turns bright red as the audience applauds and she hesitantly gets up on stage. I, uh... Kaori's cute cat girl costume is just a type of outfit that is popular every year. Well done, Kaori, and congratulations on second place. Second place? Jeez, who even voted for me? It's not like I even want to win this stupid contest anyway. And finally, oh, is Yui gonna win? To wrap up this year's contest, I'm ready to announce our first place winner, Miss Yui Akiyama. Yui's skin turns ghostly pale. I can tell she's terrified of going up on stage in front of all these people. Rhea laughs and gives her a gentle push forward, and Yui has no choice but to go on stage. Ah, uh, I thank you. The audience goes wild at the sight of Yui's outfit. Yui, congratulations on taking first place this year. Your outfit is sensational. It captures the spirit of Halloween perfectly. Ah, what a nightmare. So many people. Let's give an extra round of applause to all of our winners. What a fantastic contest. Now please feel free to enjoy the rest of the festival. I think I'm going to faint. Oh, I bet you I know what this is. I bet this is based on your affection for the girls. Because Kiori is number two only because they got that extra affection boost earlier in the episode. And Yui is obviously number one. I bet that's what it is. Wow, what an awesome day. Is every day like this for your school? Uh, no, of course not. It's a festival, you idiot. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. Say, Alan, I was wondering, are you able to skip the festival tomorrow and hang out with me? There's something I want to talk to you about. Interesting. It must be serious if Shuna's asking such a thing. But tomorrow's the big day. We're planning to fight the cult. I cannot possibly skip the festival. I'm sorry, Shin. I mean, can we hang out another time? I'm kind of committed to the festival at the moment. I mean, you can tell me right now. Sure, yeah, I understand. Probably bad time, and I get it. Sorry, I mean, any other time would have been fine. Oh, okay, no biggie. Well, enjoy the rest of the festival anyway. I had a blast today. I'll catch you later, okay? All right, see ya. Man, I wonder what Shin could want to talk about. I should ask him about it another time. Ah, oh, how embarrassing. Oh, Yui, congrats on the big win. Don't tease me. I didn't want to be part of it. I'm sorry. I'm going to go home and hide in a corner for a while. Hey, don't forget. Tomorrow. Ah, uh, yes, I know. I'll be here. Don't worry. Okay, get some rest. Tomorrow's the day. You all ready? You know it. Of course. Why do you take me for? They all look so cute in their outfits. Ready as I'll ever be. Good. You all remember the plan? We'll sneak out the festival during the feast. I'm meeting the cult at the parking lot. You all have the location on your phones. From there, you'll need to follow the cult to wherever they take me. Yeah, we got it. Don't worry. It'll all work out. Okay. I'm counting on you all. I'm counting on myself. All ready. That's it for today's episode. And I'll see you all Monday for the big final battle with the cult. And I hope you all have a good weekend. And take care, everybody. <laughs>